Well, hello! The appearance of my living room has greatly changed since my last DVD collection video. Not to mention, my collection itself has dramatically changed. So I thought I would give you a little tour of my living room and mostly just show you my current DVD collection and like how it's arranged at this point in time. These kind of videos are always a challenge because of the glare on the spines of the DVDs, but let's go ahead and jump in. So to start off, this is my entertainment center. So this is where we have all the DVDs now. We're still kind of figuring out like what to do with this um, and ultimately how we want things to be arranged, but it has some sense of order to it now. So to start off, we're gonna go over here. I'm trying my best to avoid the glare but hopefully you can kind of get an idea of what we've got here. Um, so a lot of these I bought and a lot of them have been given to me or sold to me by friends in the Jalo community and the basically wider cult film community. So I'm not gonna go through all of them obviously so hopefully you can read the titles. We have some Pam Greer some Full Moon, some Fulci. Um, this is just where a lot of my favorites are. A film I don't talk about very much is Valerie and Her Week of Wonders. One of the, basically one of, one of the first 60s or 70s foreign film that I fell in love with. Um, <laughs> freaking love this. Satan Rise of Dracula from Brian. A lot of these you've seen recently in my mini hauls that I do. Here's something I haven't shown you guys yet, and embarrassingly I haven't watched any of yet, but it's this 70s and 80s like teen exploitation comedies. It's a set of 12 movies, and I bought it for the Pom Pom Girls, which I haven't watched yet, but that's coming. That's coming, but... This is a pretty fun little find. Um, I do love Lifetime movies, as some of you know. So this is a recent acquisition here. This one is a classic. She's Too Young, 2005. It's exactly what you think it is. Actually, it's probably worse. And this was a nice little set that I got. And I got it for Augusta, Augusta Gone, which is a fantastic Lifetime movie. I like the tragic teen stuff for some reason. Now, what all can you can you see what's back here? Oops, we have Blood from the Mummy's Tomb here, which Craig sent to me. What's up? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I have a favorite film that doesn't fit in with what I usually talk about on this channel. My favorite film is Harmony Kareen's Gummo. Is this 90? Yeah, 1997. This is my favorite movie of all time. Probably forever. Let me know if you've seen it. Let a hoe know down below. Let a, let a hoe know down below. Can you see everything we've got back here? Angel, Opera, Deep Red, Demons. 13 is another favorite film of mine and this is before my film exploration era. This is just, you know, since the olden days. I love this movie. Kind of goes along with the uh, Tragic Teen Lifetime movies, so maybe I should put it in right here. There is not really any sense of order up here. Basically, like, these are the Katie favorites or the Katie uh, needs to watch shelf. We got the Hammer Draculas here in a four disc, a four film set. A couple others that are you know, longtime favorites include American Beauty and the Virgin Suicides. And I, I don't know how I'd feel about them rewatching them now. And then freaking Natural Born Killers. So obviously these shelves are really big. These weren't necessarily media shelves. So let me show you how I have stacked both of these so that all is visible. Can you see? Hold on. You can't see. I stacked less favorable DVDs in the back. <laughs> I don't even know what else back there. 
And then there's also a cardboard box that I cut up just to serve as a shelf here. So some of the DVDs that we don't necessarily want to display, like Christmas DVDs and that kind of stuff, we have tucked away into the back. Now let's go on down to the next shelf. And then this shelf here, this is just like our communal horror section. This is like more of the standard stuff. Again, ho hopefully you can see them all fairly well. Oh yeah, I don't know why I did this, but I just bought the Love Witch used off of thrift books and it's a library copy and it's freaking locked and I don't have magnets strong enough to open it. And I'm like, why didn't I just freaking buy a decent copy? I don't know. Um, so a few favorites, Sorority Row, can we talk about this? Yes, it's freaking awesome. It gets better every time. Jeepers Creepers. Um, we have this Insidious collection. I haven't even seen two, three, and four. Um, I, don't, I don't know. The Craft, The Roommate. I love a good stalker movie. Trick or Treat. I adore this movie. Ginger Snaps. I think we have several copies of Paranormal Activity at this point. Ah, oh, The Strangers. That's a great one. The 2006 and the 1974 Black Christmases. Watcher in the Woods. Over here is like, can you see? Over here is like <laughs> the more childy films. These right here. Um, Watcher in the Woods is one of my favorites. It does not get talked about. It's a Disney movie from like 1980 or something. And uh, it's a horror movie. And it's actually pretty chilling. It has Betty, Betty Davis in it. That's Betty Davis. Oh, and it has Carol Baker in it. Yeah. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I literally... We bought this copy in like 2010 and I don't think we've ever watched it because I watched it enough in high school. Casper, love. Hocus Pocus, love. Love Vampire and Casper Meets Wendy. I do watch those at least once a year. And what do we have back here? Can you see? Um, a recent acquisition, also off thrift books, is Serial Mom. Had to own Serial Mom. I feel like watching it all the time. I got this little set here of... When, the, when a Stranger Calls, the original and the remake. I have a few music DVDs. I'm not gonna pull them out, but I got, yes, I am gonna pull them out because I'm very proud. Typo negative. I used to just watch this all the time. And some films that we still haven't seen, you wanna know something terrible? I've never seen Pulp Fiction. Oh my God, how long have I been making a shadow on the shelves? I've never seen Pulp Fiction. And I own it, apparently. It's never been opened. Like, I don't know why I own it. It's, it's in the wrapper. <laughs> um, we got Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Donnie Darko. That was another long time, like even before I was into movie exploration, like Donnie Darko was a must. I'm going to prop you up here. Alien vs. Predator. Boogeyman was another recent acquisition from the thrift store. Uh, we have the Nightmare on Elm Street set. Love Pumpkinhead. That two film collection there is The Conjuring. Well, let's, let's get down to what really matters. I'm going to take you off the tripod for this. That is my Jollo shelf, the glare, man. So this is art by an artist known as the Colors of the Dark. I painted this based on all the Colors of the Dark. This is my Jollo Essentials Yellow Edition. This is my Red Queen figurine from Brian. And this is a yellow phone that I got from the thrift store and I had to put a new plate on it and paint it to match and everything. Oh, and I had a black glove that my cats keep, I mean a brown glove, at least my cats keep um, messing with everything. And then I decided to display <laughs> Strange Vice, just cause it's my favorite. 
and then I have an empty bottle of j and and then I was using this bloody knife for like Halloween costumes and stuff, but I just decided to put it here. And I thought it would also be cute to have like a dragonfly figure or something from a dragonfly for each corpse, but I'll think of some more things to add here, but I really love this. Under here, I have some, <laughs> uh, my VCR, my PS1, my PS2, and just some, oh, and a GameCube and some tapes. <laughs> Am I giving my age away? <laughs> and this is the center console. We do use the PS4 a little bit, and we do have some other DVDs, so I'm not gonna show you everything, but these are from like, ye olden days when people used to put their CDs and DVDs in in like cases like that. Anyway, and a lot of them are just standard things, white chicks, stuff like that. And then in here I have a CD player and some of the recent games that I've been playing. Skyrim, Spyro Remake, and uh, No Man's Sky. What I am currently replaying right now is Tales of Zestiria because this bitch loves some anime games. And like in my last DVD collection video, these are the Zack movies. So these are my husband's movies. Um, so we just look at them. <laughs> I like John Wick. Um, Fast and Furious is fun. Uh, I haven't seen Predator yet, but we bought it recently. Same with Fifth Element. Trust me, y'all. Most of the, like, standard everybody needs to watch these movies I haven't seen. Oh, yeah, he's a big fan of Constantine in the Matrix. And down here, this is just, like, the random shelf. So I am an anime fan. Or at least I was a much bigger anime fan back in high school. I had more time. I mean, that's like a full-time job, you know. But I did love, I mostly like uh, like shoujo. I like romantic stuff. So I have Oh My Goddess and Chobits. And I don't know why I can't even be bothered to put things in order. Oh My Goddess and Chobits. Um, Tales of Zestiria, that game that I'm playing. Also had a full anime series, so I bought that. And then these are just like random comedies. <laughs> See, we like to have a little bit of fun. Comedies and kid movies. Growing up, I loved The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday, like the old ones. Um, and then just stuff I haven't seen. I'm the Kung Fu Hustle fan. We like Wild House, I don't know why. House Bunny, Mean Girls is in this. House Bunny, Mean Girls, and Easy A is like the holy trinity. And yeah, you can look for yourself. Also, like, I love Clerks 2 so much. I haven't seen Clerks 3 yet. So up here on this shelf, I don't know, we might do another display or something like that. But for now, I have my cat's ashes, my Sephiroth figurine, and this it follows VHS tape designed by my pal at Video Faves. So here is the wall in full. This is what we get to look at. I have these new lamps as well. This wavy lamp I love. I think all these 70s movies have gotten me a fixation with cool lamps. And then Zach chose that mushroom lamp. So now I'll just talk a little bit about what we've done in this room. I mean, we've painted everything, including the ceiling. It was miserable. Um, oh yeah, I have this hatchet for the honeymoon poster up here. We've done things like get fake plants, which I never thought I would do. Green curtains. And then I have all the curtains open for lighting purposes. And then you guys have seen my posters. 
We got this at the thrift store the other day, this plant. I'm so excited. Oh, and this is our couch. You guys, this couch is vintage from the 60s. It might be the 70s, but this is like the real deal. <laughs> and it's modular so you can move it around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and this lamp. This is one of the best things I've ever bought. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. I don't mean to brag, but um, this was 10 years. <laughs> 10 years coming, basically. And this rug, it's so fun. Also, um, there are some films down here. These are the ones I had in my latest haul of things I bought from Il Pinguino. But I had them stacked up here to take a picture of them the other day. And yeah, that is my new living room, which we might as well call the movie room. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, now I know I said I wasn't gonna show you every last detail of my DVD collection, but I did remember that I wanna show you what's here in the bedroom, of course. These are things I showed last time. So this area hasn't changed much at all, but if this is your first time watching a DVD collection video from me, let me just show you what I've got over here. This is where I keep my shows. And uh, you'd think I would put these in order before filming, right? I have Degrassi Junior High, Degrassi High, and then all of Degrassi, the next generation from season one to season 12 here. I have, it's really like the first three seasons of Arthur, but it's four different series. Um, I love Arthur, and if you haven't seen it, um, just, just you can't judge till you see it, man. And then before streaming really took off, we were trying to accumulate King of the Hill, which we probably will still work on it because I don't like to be dependent on streaming. We have a few seasons of King of the Hill down here and also the Gumby box set, which I also got before streaming because yeah, I'm a long time Gumby fan. So here is just kind of like an ancient area. <laughs> Another PS2 and some games, uh, but I won't go into that because we're not here about games. And then over here, we have some Aqua Teen Hunger Force. We have some Simpsons. Daria, South of Nowhere is similar, similar to Degrassi, kind of. It's a teen drama. It's really, really good. Uh, really under... It's, it's too obscure. Oh, and then this is one of my favorite cartoons, The Weekenders. That's like the only Disney thing I watch, or one of the only Disney things I watch. And then I have the Death Note series, which should be over there in the anime shelf instead. So that's the little bit we keep here in the bedroom.
really hope you enjoyed my living room tour and my little DVD collection tour. I know my DVD collection isn't that big and spectacular, but I am very thankful for especially the things I have been able to purchase and receive these past couple of years. Like this, this shelf up here. And I'm just very thankful and very proud. And um, I don't necessarily want a huge collection, but I do want to have my favorites that I keep close to my heart. So I'm just really proud with how this is coming along. Let me know what was your favorite out of my collection and I will hopefully see you in a future collection update. Bye.